In this video, we will review the threshold tone decay test and how to perform that test within the Medrex Studio software. Tone decay measures the patient's ability to perceive and maintain a pure tone that is presented continuously. It gives a number to the auditory fatigue that's present when the stimuli are given at or near threshold sensitivity. Typically, the tone decay test is performed when there is an asymmetric hearing loss and it's used to evaluate if the hearing loss is cochlear or retrocochlear in pathology. Space occupying lesions are likely to affect the high frequencies sooner than the low frequencies. In this example, the right ear is the better ear with 10 decibel thresholds and the left ear is the poorer ear with sloping thresholds. The instructions for the tone decay test would be to ask the patient to press the response button or raise their hand the entire time they hear the tone. At a particular frequency, a tone is presented just below threshold in the test ear or the poor ear. And in this example, at 2000 Hertz, we would present the tone at 35 decibels on the left hand side. And you would increase the intensity until the patient responds to the tone. Then, you want to present the tone continuously until the patient reports that they no longer hear it. If the tone is heard for less than 60 seconds, increase the intensity by 5 dB immediately until the patient reports that they heard the sound for 60 seconds or the intensity reaches a 30 dB SL level. After measuring decay at one frequency, you would then want to move on to the rest of the frequencies for that ear. The tone decay test results would indicate a cochlear pathology if there is a slow tone decay. So for example, the patient requires only a 10 decibel increase to reach 60 seconds of perception. Or the patient would show decay at just one or two frequencies and the decay is slower as the stimulus intensity increases. A retrocochlear loss would be demonstrated by rapid tone decay. So for example, the patient would require 30 decibels or more of increases in order to reach 60 seconds of perception. The patient would show decay at all frequencies and the decay is faster as the stimulus intensity increases. And now we will review how to complete the tone decay test within the Medrex Studio software. This main screen of the software will have different modules displayed depending on which pieces of equipment you have from Medrex. In order to complete the tone decay test, you want to click on the audiometry module. And on the tone screen here, you will see the thresholds that we used as an example when we were discussing the background. On the top of the screen, you will see a tone decay tab. You can click on that and that will bring you to the test. From here, you can select which ear you would like to present to, your transducer, the frequency at which you would like to present the first tone, and then the start button. To instruct the patient, you want to make sure that they either raise their hand or press their response button for the entire time that they hear the tone. So in this example, we want to start at 2000 Hertz and we would like to start a presentation at 35 decibels on the left side. To begin, you want to press start. And you can see on the graph that the blue line is moving and that is when a tone is being presented. So if the patient hits the button and they respond that they're hearing it, the line will turn orange. If they no longer hear it, the test will automatically move up in frequency in five decibel increments for about five seconds and then it will increase again if there is no response by the patient. So in this case the patient is continuing to hear the tone So once the patient has heard the tone for 60 seconds, the line will stop and the patient can release the button. You can see that once the patient 
has completed the testing for that particular frequency, the intensity level at which they heard the tone for 60 seconds will be listed in the table at the bottom of the screen. After this, you can move on and test the other frequencies.